everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is I am literally packing to go on my Mexican Riviera cruise, y'all. Woohoo! <laughs> I am so excited to be doing this, although I've been pulling my hair out trying to figure out and trying to hone down this wardrobe for the week and you know I, I don't know we'll see how I do here with my packing and we'll see how my weight is and I need to leave room in my suitcase for a couple of little gifts that I have to give my girlfriends I'm hoping they are not going to see this video until after the fact because this will go up on Friday when we're all like traveling to each other. So I'm hoping upon hope that they won't see this, but it won't be a big surprise for them because we usually do exchange a few little gifts. But I do need to have room in my suitcase for those couple of gifts. And it's not a huge amount of space, but I need to leave myself space and weight, which in turn coming home will leave me space and weight for any kind of souvenirs that I may buy, which I'm not planning on buying souvenirs. I am planning on maybe buying a couple of Christmas presents while I'm on the ship for my girls, you know jewelry wise something like that you know uh but anyway so here we are <laughs> i am going to literally be showing you how i'm i weigh my each of my cubes after i pack it and i'm going to explain to you uh, uh what i do step by step going forward so i'm so excited i actually i got my nails done yesterday you can see my nails there that's what i chose to do i chose to do a nice bright red and my toenails are done in the same i got myself a pedicure and i got my nails done and y'all i i have been so stinking busy that i almost literally nodded off while she was doing my nails that's how busy I've been, y'all. And I want, let me apologize right now if I have not gotten back to your comments. I know I wasn't able to get back to any comments the other day uh, on my, for those of you on my Country Craft Corner channel, when I did the trough with the snowman and stuff in it, I just didn't have a chance, y'all. I just didn't have a chance to comment back. I have been so stinking busy. And then yesterday I was out almost all day doing my nails in my, my feet and last minute shopping and running around and all kinds of stuff. So, and today I'm packing and tomorrow I get my, Lord help us all, my, I know my grays are like, hello, hello, how is everyone doing today? Waving at you. Oh my goodness. I get my hair colored and trimmed tomorrow. So please excuse my hair. Anyway, but let's get started. I don't want this to be a forever long video, and I'm sure there'll be some speeding through parts in this one, uh, but I like to do these videos to show you how I literally pack and how I literally put all of my cubes and my packing folder to use. And um, So let's get turned around here and let's get started. And I'm move over here over onto the other side. You can see here I have all of my tops hanging. And this is my, for, excuse my pantry, as I'm gonna open my pantry door here. Uh, but there's my, uh, my, one of my long strapless dresses. And then this is my formal wear here. So that all needs to be packed too. And then I've got, I think I've got like eight tops there. So it's, I'm really not doing too bad considering that I'm going a day before. Although of course I'll be wearing what I need the day before. Anyway, regardless, let me get my camera set up here. There we go. Here's the suitcase I'm gonna be taking. As you guys saw, this is my purple, purple 28 inch spinner. I just wanted to, and I've got my luggage tag on it and I'm gonna have my uh, cruise tag in the very front pocket. So I'm ready to put it on my suitcase uh, when I get to my hotel room. Okay, this cube, I wanted to show you this cube first. And this is the cube that I've packed to, uh, when I get to my hotel room, I'll be able to pull this right out of the suitcase. And this is the cube that will uh, cover me for, this is my nightgown on top there that you see. And I've got an outfit that I'll wear to the cruise port the next morning. Clean pair of underwear, clean bra, just in case I need it. Right in this cube. So when I get to the hotel room, all I need to do is pull this out, hang my top up, let it, you know, hang out a little bit. And that'll be it. That's all ready to go. So I already packed that up. The first thing I want to start with are my 
are my slacks. I'll explain those, whoops, in a minute. This is like an extra cube to cover uh, some extras here. I've got a cami, I've got like little knock around clothes for the evening hours that I sometimes like to, you know, comfy clothes after you've eaten, you want a little bit of be, be a little comfortable after dinner, let that belly just, you know, <laughs> go a little bit. So I have a pair of those. And this will be my overage, you know, my overage, my overage. Anyway, what I want to start with are my, my pants that I have here. These are all capris. I'm going to be wearing one pair of slacks on the plane because it's chilly here in Virginia. And I always get cold on the plane, you know, so I'll be wearing a pair of slacks and I plan on doing laundry once just to do that, that outfit that I'm wearing um, and whatever else I might need by midweek, you know, I'm going to do one load of laundry there. Uh, there's always a laundromat available there on the ship. But here's all my capris and what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with the white ones down here. So I folded them, as you can see, kind of in a tri-fold. But instead of rolling, I don't like to roll these kinds of pants. This is the longest pair of capris I have here. I zip the, hang on here. I wanna unzip the compression part of the cubes. So I can really show you. Okay. So there we go. There, it's all unzipped. Now, I'm just going to start folding my capris like this and stacking them in. As I said, I don't care to necessarily roll them, but folding them two or three times over works great. like a puzzle, you know? Also, there are irons available, which I do utilize sometimes. And that is it, my friends. That is all of the capris that I have. And zip them shut. Now let's see if I can compress them down. Check it out. Now, how is that? The only thing you gotta be careful with with this stuff, you guys, is the weight. Because I try not to take the weight of my suitcase over 50 pounds, you know? First thing I wanna do is weigh my suitcase. So the suitcase weight is, what you do is just wrap this around the handle, hook it onto itself, oh, thank you, turn it on, and then pick it up. This suitcase weighs 7.92 pounds, so we're just gonna say eight pounds, just to be safe. So suitcase is eight pounds, we're gonna add as we go. Okay, and this, since we're finished with this, weighs 6.3 pounds. So we want to, we're just going to say six and a half pounds. Okay, and then this little cube, this 
is 3.08. say three and a half. So far we have 14, 17, 18 pounds so far. That's with the with the suitcase. So let's do the folder next. I wanted to tell you this are all these are all my unmentionables. All my underwear, my bra and a cami is in here. Two bras, all my underwear and a cami all in here. Two pounds. Well, 1.92 pounds. So that means it gives us 20 pounds so far. And I want to keep it under 50. It includes my medication for the week. It includes all of my, you know, my dryer sheets that I wanted to use. These are about four Tide Pods, just in case I want to do more than one load of laundry. My soap, my Clorox to go, my room concentrating spray. Uh, I wanted to put some Afrin in here, hang on. Just in case I get sick, this is my go-to, my Afrin. I want to add that in. Now this is gonna be a, a little heavy, so we'll see how much this is. Feels heavy to me. Five pounds. Well, that's 25 pounds so far. Okay, now, the only thing I have left is my little purse. This is my pop-up laundry basket, my cosmetic bag, which I'll put on in the morning that I travel, and this is my jewelry. And I'm not sure I'm done, quite done with this yet. But so far, that's I'm not taking a lot. But I'm taking more than my little, my tiniest little bag will carry. And then this is a little carry-on, or little purse that I use, as you know, to carry my phone and whatnot around the ship. Fascinators. Y'all ever heard of fascinators? You know, we're going during Halloween. Well, we're not real, you know, keen on dressing up, but on... Halloween, I am going to wear the black strapless and a black fascinator. And uh, I have a scarf coming with uh, that's black with leaves on it. Fall leaves, it's not here yet. It's Amazon, it's coming. But then another night, I'll wear the pink fascinator with this dress. So y'all just gonna have to wait for the pictures to see those. <laughs> Here we go with the folder. This is going to be use the folder is we have a little cheat card. This came in with this folder. This is a Eagle Creek medium packet garment folder. So here we go with my first shirt. I'm going to lay it great flat on the counter. I want to put the cheat card on top of it and I want to fold the shirt around the card just like you would if you were you know folding laundry and I want it to be folded right around the card flip it over put it into the envelope and slide the card out it keeps things from wrinkling too much for one thing and it just keeps things really nice, y'all. I'm telling you. So let me, I will probably put you in the fast motion as I do this. So just hang on, I'll do a few more for you. I do the next time is usually flip the collar the other direction so that it's you know even and I will sometimes just fold the sleeves under like that just to make it neat okay and I'm gonna go into fast motion after this one
Okie dokie. There we go. I got them all in, except for my slacks for my uh, dressy outfit. So let's see how we do here. Oh my goodness. This is pretty full. this weighs. Dun dun dun. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> oh my goodness you all, it's only eight and a half pounds. I kid you not, eight and a half pounds. Wow. Okay. Whew. So that's 25 plus 8.5. 34 pounds so far. Okay, well, I'm doing all right. Just have to get my shoes. And this stuff needs to get weighed and put in this cube. Seven pounds. So I have 30, I'm going to say 38 pounds. So I have, what is that, 12 pounds to play with. Well, my cosmetics themselves were, are probably a good six. So I'm going to be cutting it close, you guys. I might have to take some stuff out. You know, In fact, I think I will before I even go any further. I just have to think about what. <laughs> Okie dokie, everybody, I'm back. And I actually have taken some things out of the mix here. I took, this is what I took out. Took out this, these slacks because they have a side zipper and I went to put, try to put them on and I can hardly get them on by myself. So there we go. I'm not, that, that solved that problem because I wanted to wear it with this pretty sweater. Well, that's not gonna work. And I just had a tank top with it. So I took that outfit out. This top I've worn and worn and worn to pieces as you've seen this outfit. So I decided I was gonna wear one of my new little uh, tops with the embroidered uh, business at the top and I thought those, those would be pretty. This is what I was going to wear on my excursion. So instead I'm going to wear a pair of little Blair, a little pair of black capris and one of those tops. So I took these out. And then I just had another pair of like black capris that I can wear and I have another pair. I have two other pairs of black capris. So when all is said and done, I still have the two maxis. I still have my formal wear. I have plenty of outfits. Uh, so right now I'm up to 34.5 pounds. That's with the suitcase. And I have to put, find some shoes and my cosmetics and then the gifts. Hopefully I can not go over 50 pounds with those, or, you know, that'll be about 16 pounds I have to work with. I like to be well under 50, so we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and do up to my shoes and I'll go ahead and grab my cosmetic bag and we'll see how much I weigh without the two gifts. I'm not gonna put the gifts in in front of you because I don't want my friends to see them. <laughs> I might be able to figure out a way to weigh them. So anyway, I'll be right back. Well, anyway, let me, let me get my suitcase up here.
take this for my princess patterns is what I put in there. Okay. It's like a little puzzle, isn't it? I'm hoping my cosmetic bag will fit there and the gifts will fit here and my shoes I might put them up here have this little purse I want to be able to get this out at the hotel so it's going to go right up front here in this little pocket my little fascinators Doesn't really matter if they get a little smushed. My jewelry. And my little glasses case, because I always take it to put beside my, and it doesn't weigh anything. So, uh, Anyway, let me go get my shoes, and we'll see. Hang on. Okay, real second. quick, I wanted to show you the shoes that I'm taking. I'm just taking a pair of navy blue slip-ons, a pair of black dressier slip-ons to wear with my formal wear and that black, those dresses. These little shoes, because, you know, I have to. I have two outfits that I can wear these with, because I love these little shoes, and... These are the shoes I'm going to wear on our one excursion, which is nothing more than walking down the, the um, dock and getting on another boat and doing a coastal cruise. And these are really lightweight and comfy. I am not taking any new, these are all, these are new, but they fit me like a glove and I know they're not going to hurt my feet. So I'm not taking any new shoes. I highly discourage you from taking any new shoes, y'all. That is not a good thing to do. You do not need to have blisters on your feet, you know. So I'm going to load these in. I'm going to go get my cosmetics bag and load it in here and the two gifts that I'm taking. And I'm going to get Chris to weigh this for me. Notice I'm putting these in last because I'm going to get these right out at the hotel. And I'm going to have him lift it and weigh it for me. And we'll see how close I got. All right. Okie right dokie, everybody. I'm back. And look at me. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Literally, uh, but I'm done. I've got it done. I've got it packed and I even put Like the only thing that I had left to put in other than my cosmetics uh, Which I put in I went ahead and packed and put in here. I've got it here at my side. I've got the suitcase here at my side and uh, I put my two curling irons in I put every single thing in that I could think of that I would be throwing in this and Chris weighed it for me and it weighs 48.5 pounds so that's like a pound and a half under 50. And that gives me enough play, I think, where, you know, it's gonna be fine. It's not gonna be overweight. So, the, and I put the gifts, did I say that? I put my gifts in, I put, I put gift bags in, I put tissue paper in, you know, I put two little cards in. So, you know, everything that could possibly go in to the suitcase has gone in. And I can't put anything else in. I don't want to go any heavier than this. If anything, I'll take a little something, something out, you know. Uh, but I've got enough clothes. And I, you know, almost took my bathing suit out. Because I'll be honest with y'all, I just don't think I'm going to be putting on my bathing suit. Just knowing me and knowing how I feel about myself in a bathing suit. I'm not comfortable in it. And I know nobody cares. And, and But I care. I care. And I may end up taking it out. Just because I'm, I'm just not comfortable. But anyway, one other thing I'm gonna do this time, which I haven't done before, and Chris actually has, not with this color or anything, but I'm actually gonna tie, I bought some ribbon.
from Hobby Lobby the other day. And I'm actually gonna tie this ribbon on my suitcase here somewhere so that when it's coming out of the carousel, I'll be able to see it. You know, I'll, I'll really be able to see here. it. No. I don't wanna put it on the big, on the top handle because my, you know, my tickets will have to go there. So I think I might just put it right through this top zipper, which is right here. Now, well, let me see if I can get it in a place where you can see it. This top zipper loop right here. And I think I'll just tie a little knot or a little, well, not a bow really. This is not wired ribbon. I'm not gonna do a funky bow or anything like that. But I do want to put some ribbon on here so that I can see this thing when it's coming, you know? And I figured this is, my dad and mom's uh, travel agent used to give them things to put around their suitcases and he gave them to me and they got lost in the move, or I'd use one of those. But I think this'll work, this'll work just fine. I don't wanna trip anybody, but you know, I wanna put something on it to make sure that I can see it. So there we go, that's it, y'all. <laughs> I am whew, ready to roll. As I said, I, all, I'm packed, I'm done. Tomorrow I, I fly out in the wee hours of Friday morning. So tomorrow I go to get my hair done, thank the good Lord, and uh, that will be a, a wonderful thing because I can't hardly stand this hair right now. My gray is coming out, it's really bad. So I don't know whether she's gonna give me more highlights or, or what, but we'll see. Whew, I was working hard, uh, but then so after this video, this video will probably go up Friday morning. By the time you guys are seeing this, I will probably be 35,000 feet in the air uh, on my way to Denver first from Richmond to fly to Richmond at 5 a.m., 6 a.m., excuse me, 6 a.m., and get into Denver at 9, 9.30, something like that, their time, local time. And then I get into L.A. at about 11 o'clock local time in L.A. So... Then I have a shuttle that I'm trying. I'm going to be catching from the airport to the hotel that we're staying in. I'm going to meet my lady friends there at the hotel, and then I'm not sure what we're doing. I may go to the Queen Mary for lunch, uh, the ship for lunch. They offer lunch, uh, and then who knows what else we'll do? We'll do. We'll chat and have a great time, you know. And our vacation will begin. So. I am super excited. I'm gonna miss you guys, I, although I will be talking to you. I probably won't be commenting back much though, you guys, as I haven't really been this week because I've just been overwhelmed, to be honest with you. I've been overwhelmed with things to do. I'm still trying to share with you, but I'm not been able to interact with you like I usually do. So please forgive me for that. So let me go into some final words here and be looking for vlogs next week. Again, I'll share what I can. Absolutely, I'll share what I can. If the ship will allow me to upload, we'll see. If you don't see uploads from me, you'll know that I'm not able to because you know I'll be trying. <laughs> so uh, let me just say for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits to bits to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.